Hello everyone, this is Eugene Michaud. Today I'd like to show you a little bit about Studio Clouds Editor and how to clean up your point cloud a little bit. So I've got a blank Studio Clouds window open here and I need to import a point cloud. So I've got one set up already. Let me bring it in. There we go. I'm going to switch this to uh, RGB so you can see what this is. And I forgot the name of this. This is some. Uh, this is a city in Germany somewhere. I don't recall what its name is right now. But um, we're going to bring up a few things here. We're going to bring up the node properties. And I'll see if I can tuck that into the left side here, along with the outliner, which will tell me a little bit about what I have. So when I go and select on this point cloud, um, move this out here. I've got, uh, let's see, this is a point cloud with about 2.5 million points. Um, what I'd like to show, though, is how we can clean up uh, some of the point clouds. Now, with any scanning that's done in public places, there's always, um, you know, people walking by, cars traveling down the road, and you get this uh, interesting uh, ghosting uh, that I've heard some people call ghosting, uh, which is basically just, uh, you know, the scanner capturing people as they're walking by. And, um, you know, obviously it's not that desirable to have in our scan. We want to be able to clean that up. So what I'd like to do is show you a little bit about how you can do this in uh, uh, Studio Clouds. And there's a couple of different ways that we can handle this. So the first thing is I need to open up the Cloud Editor. And I'll do that right here. And uh, the Cloud Editor is kind of neat in that it works something like Photoshop. So you, have, you create layers and select, selection layers. So I've created one um, already, and what I'd like to do is I'm going to select just you know all the points that are on this ground plane here, because anything that's obviously above it is uh, something that I want to be able to clean up. So I just select the layer. I'm going to do a uh, select points by plane equation, and all I need to do is select three points that are on this uh, plane, and it just goes through and calculates you know the rest of the points. Now in some cases it doesn't extend all the way. I can just keep um, selecting different points uh, and it just keeps adding to the selection here. So let's see. Oh, that's good enough. I think it's selected enough of the ground. There's, there's more out here that I could select, but I don't think that's necessary at this time. So once I've got that, I can just shut off that layer that's been selected. And what I can do now is you can see where I have um, so, you know, some people have walked by and it's captured their image. So if I want to clean this up now, actually, I can create a new layer. Uh, and what I'm going to do is a remove from the layer. So the current layer is everything that's shown here. And I can just do a rectangular select and just start highlighting parts of the point cloud and cleaning those up. So the, really the key feature here is the select by plane, which helps you uh, clean up a lot of the point cloud and eliminate um, a lot of the added noise that you typically get from uh, cars and noise uh, from people walking by. So there we go. I think that's all I want to show 